Well, here is our first in a series of, well, compass constructions, compass and straight edge for parallelograms. And here, we're going to construct a parallelogram making use of the very definition. Just like we see over here, we are going to construct a parallelogram ABCD with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. Let's get right to it. Make some room here. Again, I'm going to need a compass and a straight edge. I'm going to start with my straight edge and I'm going to make some random segment. I didn't specify the angles. So I'm just going to draw here. I'm going to draw a line from A you know, somewhere up here. And I'll just put it, you know, put, maybe I'll draw it out there. And let's see. And I've got a point right here. I'm going to call this a point D got this random point D on this line. Make sure you've got enough tail on this line. I'm going to need that intersection. Again, if I was, well, if I was just sketching, I would just line up like this and slide it. And I'd say, yeah, that's a, well, that's not constructing now. We need to use the compass. So let's do the parallel line construction, which I think we already know, but let's review it. Take the needle of our compass, put it on A, as best as we can right there okay and now we're going to swing an arc now this arc must intersect AD the purple line and our given line AB the blue line very good then we pick up the needle and we're going to put it on D once we've got it nicely on D we're going to take it and we're going to swing it making sure we go through this line. If it didn't go through this line, you're going to have to extend your line AD. And down here where you expect the parallel line to be. That's, well, that's how it works. So, well, let's, let's get this out of the way. And um, let's see what's next. Oh yeah, I'm going to reposition my compass. I'm going to use a different color pencil now. And I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to put it right there on this intersection of AD and the red arc. So, um, well, let's see if I have that right size there. Maybe I'm off by a little bit. Line up the compass and see if I get a nice swing right there. Ah, it goes through the intersection of that red arc on AB. That's what we wanted. So now, you're going to pick up your green compass. Watch carefully. Oh, put the needle on this intersection, the red intersection on AB, and you're just going to, well, swing an arc. So you can see this green arc was reproduced as well. Now, that's really, that's really it. As far as we have one of the two parallel lines, you can already see it because I'm going to line up the straight edge with D and that intersection right there. That's what makes a parallel line. So let's see my little parallel line tool here. And let's just say I'm drawing from here. I'm going to line it up, making sure that it goes through that point as best as I can. And I'm just going to extend this because I need this to be a little bit longer. Okay. We're most of the way there. Well, okay, we're half the way there. We have, we've reproduced one angle. Well, let's just reproduce another. And uh, let's see, where was that other compass? Um, I could use the same mark, draw the same compass here. Let me, just to check, make sure I'm back on the same thing. Um, see this, this red arc that you started with? Well, let's just pick up that needle and now instead of moving it up to D, let's move it over to B. This is the part where a lot of students had trouble in class on the last one. Now you're not sure where to put it. It's a little bit different and you're saying, okay, well it's going through this line AB and it's going through here where you expect your last parallel side to be. Right there. That's where it has to go. That's the part that's just a little bit different. So
So now, let's put the compass a different way now. Now I'm going to put it here. See? I'm going to put the needle here. And I've got to line it up. This is a little bit different. I'm trying to swing it through uh, too big. I want to make that compass a little bit smaller. Ah, that's, you see that? So now the needle is on the intersection of AB and the red arc. And now what we do, now we can pick up this compass and we're going to slide it over here to this intersection. And that is our intersection. You see, it's the same procedure we did for the first parallel line, but we did it from a different perspective because now AB is the transversal. And it's the same, well, the same drill, you know that. We're going to line up your straight edge, line up as best as you can, and you're going to make it go through those points, and you can take your line tool, and you're going to draw from there, and you're going to go through as best as you can. And it looks like you've got yourself a parallelogram. All we've got to do now is just label this. This is going to be our point C. And maybe we can put in, well, we'll put in this from A to B, D to C. And I'll put in those double arrows there to indicate parallel. And then over here, A to D, I'll use a different arrow to indicate that AD is parallel now to BC. And there you have it. You have a parallelogram that has been constructed with a compass. And you can see the marks there. Well, how many compass swings was it? You've got three red ones, two green ones, and two blue ones. So not so bad, was it?